Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, in today's lecture, I'm going to explain that how can you display your element uh, depending on the condition of these two checkboxes. For example, if I want that I, I uh, some text or some element or some image will display only when these two checkboxes are clicked or they both are checked. And if any one of this is unchecked, I will. Uh, I want to show my this element. I want to show, hide my. I want to hide my this element. I want to hide any text or any image. Again, repeating that I want to display this element only uh, if these both checkboxes are checked or these two checkboxes are clicked. And if any one of this is unchecked, I want to hide my element. So how can we achieve uh, this in my, how can we achieve this in Webflow? Let's move on to the Webflow. In Webflow, you can see that I'm using here the embedded code. Uh, in the embedded code, uh, basically the designing of this checkbox and the designing of this text. Uh, and I will explain this in my next, in my next video. Uh, in uh, the current video, we will stick to our main part that how can we uh, show or hide element depending on the conditions of checkbox. So uh, let's start. Uh, I just created a form with the two inputs having uh, the type checkbox and with the name of C1. Uh, let's uh, leave this uh, section of the class. Uh, I will explain this styling in my next video. Uh, just leave this, um, this part only. And then what I want, I want that when C1 is clicked, then I want to call my function that is show me and then I pass argument day one. Now uh, uh, from this, from here to line number eight, I am done for this part, uh, for this video and the next lines are for my next video that is styling of this checkbox. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm doing simply creating a form with the two inputs with the name of C1 and by clicking them, I'm going to call show me, uh, and show me what show me, dev1. So what is dev1, how show me is executed, let's see, save and close. And then uh, the div which I want to show or hide depending on the condition is here. I just give an idea of dev1. So whatever the name you want, uh, do assign it, but be careful about the ID because I'm uh, using my code by getting the element by ID. So ID is day one. Now move to the custom code uh, in the uh, page setting uh, in the body part. Uh, here's a simple JavaScript. Um, basically, I am passing uh, the argument uh, of day one. Now what I'm doing here, I'm simply uh, um, putting a condition of if, that if my checkbox zero plus the checkbox one, uh, it's mean that my both checkboxes and I uses the condition of and, that my both checkboxes are checked only then display uh, my uh, element with uh, my element uh, div one. So only I am just setting the condition of if by using the and condition that if the both checkboxes are checked only then display the box or only then display my uh, required div. So I'm done. I will uh, just copy paste this uh, um, code in my description link and you can uh, you can get it from here. So let's save it and let's give it a publish. So by publishing it, let's see the result here. Like when both checkboxes are unchecked, then there is no element uh, or uh, there, there is no element. And when I check the both elements, see the form or which element I want to show by clicking on the checkbox is appearing now. But when I uncheck any of this, it will hide show on both when both are checked. But if any of this is unchecked, it will hide. So that's all about today's video. Hope you like the video and hope you like the concept. Thank you.